Hey everybody, welcome back to OrthoNugs. In this video, I'll be demonstrating and discussing a couple hip labral pathology tests. Uh, I'm going to go through the anterior and posterior labral tear or labral shear tests. Let's start by demonstrating the shearing mechanism that occurs between the femoral neck against the acetabulum or the anterior aspect of the labrum in this example. Then we start in this flexion, adduction, and interrotation position. Now we're trying to shear the femoral neck against the posterior lateral aspect of the labrum. So this is going to be the anterior labral tear or shear test. We start in the Faber's position of flexion, abduction, external rotation. And you can see it's this big sweeping motion towards adduction, internal rotation, and extension. Again, we're trying to shear or grind the femoral neck against the anterior and superior aspect of the labrum. So we'll show that again, starting in that Faber position, which is a different special test, and then a big sweeping motion. A positive test would be reproduction of patient symptoms. We may also get a click, pop, snap as the femoral neck grinds over the labral tear. Now this is going to be a posterior labral tear or shear test. We start in this fadir position, and again, it's this big sweeping motion where we're shearing or grinding the femoral neck now off of the superior lateral posterior aspect of the acetabulum or the labrum. So again, a positive test would be reproduction of those posterior located hip symptoms, also click, pop, snap associated with a labral tear. Thanks for watching. If you feel this video was useful to you, then consider subscribing to our OrthoNugs channel. I've also included links here to some other hip assessment videos, so you can check those out as well. Thanks again. <laughs>